Hello, it's the morning. We woke up at the fuck crack of dawn. But why? He asked the camera. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's coffee. McDonald's coffee. Woo! So we set our alarms for six in the morning. It is Wednesday. Uh, because, drum roll, hooker. I hardly know her. Uh, <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. Uh, I was good. Uh, no, no, no. So, playing a poker tournament at Ocean's Eleven in Oceanside, California. Um, it came up that they're doing daily tournaments. They just opened a new facility, Ocean's Eleven. It is an outdoor facility, 6,500 foot square tent uh, with gaming, as well as No Limit Hold'em, Hot Limit Omaha, tons of different kinds of games. But, da 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 da, poker tournaments. They do one. Here's, here's the three things that drew me. They do one every single day, ship it. They do it in the morning. Registration starts at 8.30, starts at nine, ship it. Because early means more older players, passive players, you know, just just more chill guys that just want to wake up early, get like get some coffee, get brekkie, and go play, go play a little good game of poker. Also, I like playing with guys like that, or morning, people like that, sorry. A morning game means that you can plan a whole little day trip like we are doing today. Very beautiful, so that's exactly right. So I'm gonna register the buy-in you ask. I'm glad you asked. $45 is the buy-in. Oh, sorry, the other thing that drew me in, second thing is, it's only 45 people, max, which is awesome, because I've been playing 45-person tournaments on Poker Stars. In my head, I'm just gonna light $60 on fire. As Xandra told me, she said a cool thing, because my parents don't really gamble, but they like to go to do slot machines when they go visit their relatives in, in El Paso, Texas. They'll go to New Mexico, and, and, and my family likes the slots in that, in that sense, but they're not like gamblers, gamblers. I just like poker. I don't even like gambling. I don't like blackjack. I don't do table games. I only play poker, right? So my thing is, and Xander made a good point. She was like, well, it's just, it's for entertainment. You're paying for entertainment. I just paid 60 bucks for tickets to go see Tom Segura and Laura Bites and Taylor Tomlinson and Brian Simpson and all these great comics, right? So at that point, I was, I was putting a price on my fun. So Xander made a good point. She said, put a price on your fun. Can you afford $60 right now? Yes. Are we celebrating? Yes. Can we make a day trip out of it? Yes. All those things were very lucky. And so, and I did some research earlier. I actually should have done a little more this morning, but we were getting out the door. But I have a whole thing. Oceanside has a whole, like, a, you know, tourism board website, you know, much like Durham, North Carolina has. And um, so I already looked up. There's some bike trails. I'm pretty sure I have my roller skate bag in the trunk. You do. So I might try to do some skating today if that's in there because I couldn't find it in the house. Um, so I feel like fingers crossed it's got to be in the trunk because it didn't, uh, yeah. they didn't skate themselves away. No, 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 they're definitely <laughs> in the truck as well as by basket. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So perfect. Oh. Oceanside. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Brook Street. We will. Onto Brooks Street, then turn right. All right, we're here in Ocean's Eleven Casino. I uh, just signed up for my first tournament. Got my first player's card. I'm really excited. I'm, uh, I drew table one, seat six. So uh, Xander got the Van Van Oil on me. Got the tent facility. We're about to do it. So let's uh, let's run, guys. Let's fucking go. All right, so uh, we're on break. We've lasted this far. Um, Xander's on our way back. We're gonna burn one real quick. I'm on a break right now. So pretty good tournament so far. Um, you started with 7,500 uh, in chips. Um, uh, I'm doing okay. I'm I haven't. Uh, I'm down to 5k, so I still have chips. But the blind structure. I mean, the blinds are about to be. I think 150, 300. I have five, so I still have plenty of chips. Um, my table, my table draw is pretty interesting. There's, uh, there's two players at my table with a lot of chips. If they're older players, they're pretty solid. I'll start with the pots that I lost. Uh, I made I made two bad calls against one of the more aggressive players. Uh, the reason I made the calls is because he was an aggressive player. It's a spot where like, uh, I can just tell you, I had A7 uh, in the big blind, a couple limps. I checked the A7 offsuit in the big blind. Um, it comes ace high with two hearts. Um, I check call his bet. The turn is another heart. He checks, I check. The river pair is the queen. So now the board has like all these, there's so many things that I don't beat. I check, he bets, uh, 
he, his bet sizing is what made me pay him off. He just, he just looked really bluffy. It looked like he was trying to pick up the pot and maybe miss a draw. Uh, I now know that I was wrong. He actually turned the flush and he value bet. So I called there. I called the bet of 350, so that was a mistake. And then um, it was a few hands later, I had a hand that I lost um, where I kind of merged my hand in a weird way. Um, I had the 10-8. Um, it came queen-10 brick against a really good aggressive player. I, uh, I check call um, a bet. We both checked the turn. The river pairs, and I actually lead out, which I don't like that bet in hindsight. I lead out with my 10. He, he calls me, he looks me up. He has ace 10, so he has a better 10. And I bet pretty big, so I just feel like he just was never folding second pair there. So that's why my bet is terrible. And I had another hand that I lost, which was really annoying. So um, for some reason, I limped in early position with ace jack of spades. Uh, it comes jack high, me and like four other players. Uh, one guy bets 350, I make it 1350, I raise 1000. I get called in two spots, and the turn comes 8 9. So it's like, Jack, it's like a four straight and like a flush possibility. So my top pair, top kicker turns into like a horrible run out. And, uh, but the good thing is, so I raise it to 1500. I get called in two spots. They check the turn when the straight gets there. I check behind. And then when the, when the flush and another straight get on there on the river, they try to check it to me again. And I also, I check behind. Uh, actually I was on the button. Uh, I check behind with the, with the Jack and they, they both roll over the straight. So they both called me on the flop with a gut shot. They both rivered the gut shot. Uh, so they chopped to the pot, so I, I lost that. The hands that I won, um, I three bet a really active player. Uh, he raised the button, I three bet out of the small blind. Uh, the big blind came along, the button folded, which was good. The flop came nine, seven brick with two clubs. Uh, I led into the big blind who was also kind of short and not, not a very strong player. Uh, he called, but I had seen him call and peel off with like over cards a lot. So I, I just kind of felt like I, I hit a seven. I had a seven of diamonds. It came seven, nine, three. So I had a seven. I bet he called. The turn was a jack. It's on me. I just jammed all in. I put him all in because I knew that he was kind of dicking around. Even though the jack kind of hits his range if he's floating me with like king jack, queen jack. It's, I don't know. I just put him in and then he folded. So that was good. That was a, and then the button told me that he actually would have flopped like gin. He would have flopped a flush draw and a straight draw had I not three bet him out of the pot. So I'm really glad we did that. So we're down to five, five and some change. Again, the structure is really good. Xander's gonna meet us here. We're gonna burn one down, and then we're gonna go back in there. But it's a really fun structure. I, I also haven't caught many hands. I had one hand where I actually, I had pocket tens on the button, two limpers, I raised. This is early on. The blinds, I think, are 50, 100 at this point. I make it 250 on the button with pocket tens. Get two callers, two older guys. The flop comes ace, 10, three, but Doogie, like, so beautiful. Uh, the first guy checks. The guy to my right bets, uh, 125. I just call. I should raise there maybe, but, I just called because they're both really tight and passive and they limp called my raise and they're both uh, very likely to have an ace there and uh, I want to get more, and had there been a wet, if the board was more wet, I would have maybe raised. So I decided to flat call. Um, I get called in both spots. Oh, sorry, uh, he bets one, two, five. I call, the other guy calls. The turn comes and it's a three, I believe. So now it's ace, 10, four, three. Sorry, it's an eight. Ace, 10, four, eight now. And uh, they both check to me and I bet 800 and they both like insta fold. So I think I made a mistake there. I think I should either be betting down or I should be checking that turn and letting them catch up on the river. Um, so in hindsight, I, uh, I will probably play that hand a little bit better. But that's the best hand that I've gotten is a set of tens. Everything else has been pretty mediocre and I haven't really hit many pairs. So uh, we're going to get back in there uh, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. And we're out. We got the showers. Uh, so after break, I uh, went back in, blinds were up to 2-4 actually, so we had a stack about 5k. So I was completely card dead. We're also playing shorthanded, so at 6 max, my table draw, I had probably some of the better players in the tournament. I had two or three older guys, um, really aggressive, but really good, but they were opening like 80% of their hands, and that makes it harder for me to play with a short stack. It was like, it's kind of like... I couldn't three bet um, because of my stack size. I could only shove and I had no hands. Uh, I had, my shoving range has gotta be a little tighter there, especially against these guys um, because they, they call a lot. Other than that, I bled and then finally, uh, you know, found king queen in the small blind. I think at this point the blinds were about to go up and I was in the small blind uh, with king queen. Again, aggressive guy with a big stack that had been raising all day. He opens in the cutoff, uh, I jam. Um, he calls with 10-9 and, uh, and he flops two nines, so that was that. Uh, um, 
super fun and again uh, great staff disinfected it was I feel safer here more it was cleaner here than most places believe me uh, they have around-the-clock staff and really sanitizing everything like it's, it's just, I feel more comfortable here than a lot of places by the way just gonna say that again uh, but I will be back uh, going straight here and then down there I turn there's the at the next corner down there is the little coffee shop and I parked in the parking garage, but then the thing was glitching and there was no number to call, so then I had a small panic attack trying to get out. Oh, damn. I know. That's a bummer. Didn't this place seems to be busy, though. Swami's Cafe. Should be. They might have a brunch. Ooh. What's Swami? Is I'm guessing Indian? It's a cafe. I don't know. And I think it's just a cafe that does brunch. What do you think about? Beautiful. Oh my god, Dude, I've never seen one of those in my life. Oh really? What the hell no. But what I've seen those. Those are gigantic. Jesus Christ. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much. Yeah, talk about the perfect onion ring. Oh my gosh. So we found a little spot to just kind of hang out by these little boulders underneath the pier. Beautiful ocean side. We're gonna spark a joint, look at the sky, and then we're gonna. Again, so yeah. we may have to make a quick dash, but that's all right. I'm quick on my feet, so I'm not too worried. That is true. I'll pull this down. I'll sit here with you. All right. Oh, that's. Oh my God, this is so comfortable. Yeah. This is. This will do. <laughs> My city is they never ever seen this. Jimmy New Town, I'm a young boy genius. I'm full time, I'ma give it that penis. When it's just done, I'ma fill up arenas. Ooh, like Gilbert like Arenas. Shoot my shot, I'm still with the demons. Ooh, I keep it thorough. I got five chicks in New York, that means one in each world. I'm in the pocket like girl. When I 